Your time is now. The present is all you have right now. This is it. Yesterday is gone. The past is the past. You can't, you can't change it. The future, it's not here yet. You can wait for it. It'll be here eventually, but then you just keep waiting for things to happen. It's good to think about the future, and it's good to reflect on the past. But when you want to make changes in your life, there's only one thing you can do, and that's focus on the present and take action. The time is now. Now is the time to act. Don't wait for tomorrow. Do it today. Start now. Many people don't start because they're waiting for the perfect moment. This is very common in many situations, in all areas of life. I have seen it over and over again. If you really want to do something, if you really want to learn something or accomplish some goal, you have to start now. Your time is now. All you have is the present, right? And don't wait for that perfect moment because that perfect moment may never come. It, it might never get here. And here's the thing, right? If you don't start, then you can't succeed, right? It's like, I mean, that's, that's, that's a pretty hard fact, right? If you don't try, then you've already failed. So you've already given up. And I'm not saying it's wrong to give up, and I'm not saying that you should try. You should try to do whatever it is you're trying to do if it means something to you. It's gotta be a big goal. It's gotta be something you really, really want. Take small steps today. Most of the time when people are trying to do something, a lot of times they become overwhelmed. You look at the task in front of you and it's like, there's no way I'm going to be able to learn all of this material and pass this class, or there's no way I'm gonna, you know, whatever it is you're trying to do, there's no way I'm gonna get a degree so I can get a job, or anything. This applies to anything in life. You take those small steps, because a small step today is better than no step today, right? I mean, the only way things are gonna change for you, the only way is if you take action, right? We talked about it, that was the first thing. The past is gone. The future is not here yet. All you have is the present. Take action. Your time is now, right? Your time is now. Don't make excuses. Don't wait for that perfect moment. Don't worry about doing it all at once. Take that small step and start now. You need a sense of urgency and a really easy way to wake up and see that is to realize that your future starts right now like this very moment, right now, right? Whatever you do now is going to affect you for the rest of your day and probably for the rest of your life, right? The actions that you take in the present are what's going to shape your future. So the more time that you waste in a state of inaction, the more time you're delaying your goals, you're delaying your celebration, you're delaying the journey that you want to embark on to accomplish your goals. So stop waiting around. Your time is now. Momentum oftentimes comes from starting. Try to realize that, try to be aware of that. A really good example is when you are trying to learn something, it doesn't matter what it is. And you're thinking, oh, I really want to learn how to code in Python or oh, I really want to learn calculus today, or maybe you, you want to learn some physics. It, it doesn't matter what it is, but when you're trying to learn something, it's, it's very easy to think about learning that thing and to sit there in a state of inaction. So what you need to do is you need to get started. Right? Realize that all you have is the present. Right? Thinking about what you've learned, I mean, that's great, but it's not gonna help you learn more. So thinking about the past, I mean, you could do that all day long. Thinking about the future and planning, you can also do that all day long. 
but only one of these three states of mind, the present, is going to allow you to change your future. And that's why you always have to focus on the present and focus on moving forward with your life, again, whatever it is you're trying to do. But that momentum starts from that first step. So when you pick up that pen or pencil and you pick up you know, a notebook and you start doing mathematics, you, start, you, know, you do that first problem, you build that momentum and it makes you, it makes you better, right? And it gives you motivation to keep going. It makes you better for the day. It's like you do one problem and you're like, oh, I feel better. I can do more problems. I feel more motivated. It fixes, it fixes your motivation issues. And it just takes that first step, okay? That first step. If you can get through that first step, you will find that motivation. So being aware of the fact that that's how it is for most people and probably you, including you, that will make you start because you know that if you can force yourself to get started, once you get started, you'll be able to keep going and that momentum, that momentum gets going, you know. Kind of a random video. I just wanted to make this because I, I think that, you know, a lot of people procrastinate and they think about what they've done and they think about what they want to do, but they don't get started. Realize that all you have is now, all you have is the present. Don't wait for the perfect moment to start and take small steps. You know, if something looks impossible and it feels like you can't do it all, and the reward is big, then that's a good thing because it's going to get you to work and it'll keep you working when you're not motivated. So take those small steps towards your goals today and get to work. What do you think? Do you have advice for people when it comes to getting out of a state of inaction and getting to work? What works for you? What do you do when you're having a hard time getting started? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, it does help other people as well. Also, if you wanna learn mathematics, check out my courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses, but if you get them, please use the links in the description of this video. When you use my links, it does two things. One, it helps me greatly, and two, I've lowered the prices so you will get a low price if you use my links. As always, keep doing math, and the key takeaway from this video should be that all you have is now. Make it happen today. Your time is now. Good luck.